You, you don't know who it is. It's just a guy comes out and beats the hell out of Montez Ford, throws him into a chamber pod, maybe hits his face onto the chain, plants him through the chamber pod and slams him, you know, beats the hell out of him. He's laid there, laid to waste, and then the man reveals himself to be... What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Money and Toys video. Today, we are back with the fantasy booking portion. We got Elimination Chamber coming tonight, and I am going to be fantasy booking this show right before it. I want to get my fantasy booking out there. We typically do this for WWE pay-per-views, and we have a little bit more time, so I wanted to get my fantasy booking out there before the show takes place tonight. And of course, come back tonight, we will have our full show review of Elimination Chamber 2023, which I'm excited for, of course. So, let's dive in, man. If you guys are wondering how the fantasy booking videos work, basically, it's like Vince McMahon, or in this case, I guess Triple H, or whoever the hell's are. Yeah, everybody knows Vince McMahon still pulling the strings, you know what I'm saying? But it's like they come over, they hand me the keys, and they say, whatever you say goes for this pay-per-view show, that is what this video is. It is all of my ideas, kind of fancy booking, all the controls in my, you know, the balls in my court, I can do what I want. That's what this video is, so let's shut the hell up. Dive into Elimination Chamber 2023, and fantasy book this show. Now, right before we get into it, it's not necessarily what I would 100% want to happen. It's just having a little bit of fun throwing some shish at the wall and having some fun with this card all right man so starting off first we have bobby lashley and brock lesnar this one's not too too far-fetched it's not a ton of fantasy booking you know loops and bounds and freaking fire you gotta jump over man it's just a straightforward i would book the hurt business to help bobby lashley overcome brock lesnar something that i actually predicted was going to happen i'm gonna go ahead and fantasy book it here on the show i think it would be pretty cool i would like to see you know the, the hurt business come back together mvp cedric alexander Shelton benjamin all coming out to save the day for Bobby Lashley as he defeats Brock Lesnar here at Elimination Chamber, potentially setting up some sort of WrestleMania matchup, maybe a street fight, something crazy to happen at the big event. Next up is our mixed tag team matchup. We have Edge and Beth Phoenix taking on the Judgment Day and Finn Balor and Rhea Ripley. This one's pretty straightforward as well. Not a ton of time spent on this one because I don't think it necessarily needs it. I think we're going to have a final blow-off at WrestleMania between Finn Balor and Edge. And to set that up, I got to keep the Judgment Day. I got to keep Rhea Ripley looking strong after the Rumble victory. So I would have Finn Balor and Rhea Ripley get the victory here. Maybe pin Beth Phoenix, you know, just because she can kind of take a stray. She could take a bullet here in this matchup. It doesn't need to be too, too crazy. So in this matchup, I would have Rhea Ripley hit a Riptide on Edge, but I would not have Finn Balor or Edge take a pinfall here in this matchup. Whether either team wins, I just want Rhea Ripley to get some offense in on Edge, whether it's post-match or pre-match or during the match itself. I'd like to see her hit a Riptide on Edge and just have Beth Phoenix either tap or take the pinfall would be cool maybe i mean i guess edge could take the pin if you did the riptide and the coup de gras but then i feel like it's all signs would point to him winning at wrestlemania which i guess isn't technically bad uh, i'd have beth phoenix take the pin or yeah i'd have beth phoenix eat the pin it just makes the most sense so for my women's elimination chamber man i don't need anything i just need oscar to win i just need oscar to win this matchup that's all i really care about in this one man i i just think it makes the most sense have her versus bianca belair at wrestlemania so i would have oscar oscar lock on everybody don't really care. I guess you could have the final three, have Raquel, Asuka, and Liv Morgan. Have Liv Morgan come up short again, just barely, kind of planting seeds for the future. And I would have Asuka beat Liv Morgan. Maybe have Liv Morgan get like a two count really close and then Asuka escape like very creatively and have her lock in the Asuka lock. Something of that nature. Asuka wins the matchup. That's all we need to know and that's how I'd book it. I'm having Asuka win this elimination chamber. Next up is our United States Championship Elimination Chamber matchup. Theory, Montez Ford, Gargano, Rollins, Bronson, Ray and Damian Priest. Star-studded lineup right here I'd have for a great high-flying acrobatic matchup. And in my universe, I don't think I'm having Logan Paul take on Seth Rollins, you know, because I can book from here on out. I just don't, I don't want to see that, man. I don't want to see Logan Paul and Seth Rollins square off. Unless Seth Rollins does win, which I'm afraid he's not going to. I really want to see Seth Rollins win there, but oh boy. So how I would book this matchup is I'd probably have it down to Rollins, Theory, and Montez Ford as my final three. So Gargano, Reed, and Priest I, they probably won't be eliminated this way. It's just how I would book it personally. So I'd have these three guys eliminated. We're down to our final three. And I guess it makes it easier to fantasy book if you're going to have Logan Paul come out because you could easily have Logan Paul show up in this matchup and take out Seth Rollins, leading to, you know, costing him the championship. Therefore, he's eliminated, setting up their matchup. So I guess because we have other elements in this matchup that I'm trying to do, I guess I'll go forward with that. I would have Logan Paul interfere in the matchup, costing Seth Rollins and eliminating him. But Seth Rollins would get his comeuppance at 
at WrestleMania. So I guess I'll go there is as annoying as that shish is. So here's our final two, Montez Ford and Austin Theory. So these two guys are going back and forth, back and forth, when all of a sudden, a man plaid in black, he's masked up, maybe he's got a helmet on, one night stand style. You, you don't know who it is. It's just a guy comes out and beats the hell out of Montez Ford, throws him into a chamber pod, maybe hits his face onto the chain, plants him through the chamber pod and slams him, you know, beats the hell out of him. He's laid there, laid to waste, and then the man reveals himself to be Angelo Dawkins. Angelo Dawkins lays out Montez Ford, laying him to waste, and the street profits are no more. Montez Ford is laid out to waste, and Angelo Dawkins runs off. Austin Theory in complete shock. Everyone's in shock and awe. Montez Ford's lifeless body is just laying there in the middle of the chamber. Theory gets the cover. One, two, three. Austin Theory retains the championship at Elimination Chamber. He's celebrating. He's got his title in hand when all of a sudden, cue the trumpets, Brad, because here comes the GOAT. John Cena comes down to the ring and he AAs Austin Theory, picks up the U.S. Championship, points to the WrestleMania sign, holds up the U.S. Championship, and declares a challenge to Theory at WrestleMania for the United States Championship, in which he would win. I'd have him win. I really, I sure, I sure would, Brad. You think I'm putting down the GOAT? Hell no. John Cena would defeat Theory at WrestleMania for the U.S. Championship. So that's how I book the men's United States Elimination Chamber matchup. God, I want to see the GOAT at Elimination Chamber. I don't think it's going to happen. I really don't. But uh, if I have the keys, he's getting his A on a flight to Montreal. And last but not least, we have the WWE Universal Undisputed Championship match. Roman Reigns defending against Sami Zayn, man. So many ways this could go. You have the elements of the bloodline. You have the elements of Jimmy and Jay and Solo and Paul Heyman and Kevin Owens and Cody Rhodes and the Rumble and the Sami Zayn honorary Oos. I mean, you have so many things playing into this matchup. And I mean, it's got real WrestleMania 37 vibes. You know, triple threats, you know, up in the air. Maybe maybe Roman Reigns brings him into Mania and just pins both of them straight up. He stacks them and he pins them like he did two years ago. Honestly, it doesn't even feel like that was two years ago, bro. That's actually insane. It makes me want to vomit into the floor and just stare off into the abyss. But Roman Reigns defends against Sami Zayn here. Fantasy booking this. Jesus. So many different ways we could go. I think in my matchup, I'm having ref shenanigans. I'm having an interference. I'm having Kevin Owens come out. I think I'm going to have it where Roman Reigns gets a, you know, we have some 2.99 pinfalls where it looks like Sami Zayn's got it. We're going to do the same thing for Sami Zayn. Foot underneath the ropes. So I would have Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn put on a classic. And then towards the end of the matchup, I'm going to have Jey Uso run down to the ring. Maybe the ref's down, you know, shenanigans. He, the ref's out cold. Jay Uso runs down to the ring. So Jay has run down to the ring and, you know, the referee has been taken out maybe by, uh, you know, Roman pulling him in front of him or, you know, taking a uh, blow from somewhere. The referee is down. At this point, Jay Uso has ran down to the ring and he's sitting there. Maybe he's got a weapon or maybe he doesn't have a weapon. Maybe a steel chair and he's got to choose, right? He's got Sammy on one side. He's got Roman on one side. Trying to figure out exactly what he wants to do. What choice is he going to make? And then he takes out Roman Reigns. He hits Roman Reigns with the chair. Everybody pops. Everybody's going crazy. At this moment, here comes Solo and Jimmy as well. Maybe they were already out there. Or maybe they weren't, but they run down and they make the save. Kevin Owens' music hits. Big pop. Kevin Owens' music hits. Here comes Kevin. So we got, you got KO, you got Jimmy, you got Jay, you got Solo. So you got all, all, all these things going on. Referees still pass the hell out. Kevin Owens and Jay Uso start fighting with Jimmy and Solo on the outside through all of this. Maybe Sami Zayn takes a stray, you know, he gets hit by a stray or something like that. While the entire, you know, altercation is taking place, Sami Zayn takes a spear from Roman Reigns. The referee comes to one, two, three. Roman Reigns retains the championships and Sami Zayn does not claim the championships. But obviously, Jimmy and Jay and Solo, there's still a lot of things up in the air. I think I would end up having this be a Solo and Jimmy Uso. So Solo and Jimmy versus KO and Sammy with Jay in their corner at WrestleMania for the Tag Team Championships. Maybe before Mania, you could have, maybe you could have Solo versus Jay on the road to WrestleMania for the other half of the Tag Team Championships in which Solo would win. 
whether it's by shenanigans or what, maybe Roman Reigns interference, you end up having it where Jimmy and Solo are the new tag team champions and they defend against Sami and KO at WrestleMania, but then you leave out Jay, but maybe Jay later in the year gets his comeuppance against Roman Reigns or something like that, but it's not perfect, but it's what I've got for now. But that's what I've got for my fantasy booking of Elimination Chamber. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on the show down below. If you guys were going to fantasy book this show, I would love to know all those things down in the comment section, but I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for Elimination Chamber tonight. Our review is going up tonight of Elimination Chamber 2023, but I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Leave me your thoughts down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you tonight for Elimination Chamber. We'll never